Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at installing Zap Proxy on Linux. Uh, first thing we need to do is open up a web browser, uh, take a look at uh, Zap. Okay, let's go to the website. Okay, so we're going to download the Linux package. This is the, the best one for what we're trying to achieve. Okay, we also need to install uh, Java Open ADK. Okay, so download, update the Ubuntu packages. Come on, come on, come on. Search for open JD, JD. Come on, you can type JD. Okay. Okay, uh, let's choose the latest one, version 19. Okay, well, we'll let that install. Oh, 400 megabytes in a lot for package. Okay, so. Okay, so uh, next we need to find our download. Let's take a look. Let's open it up. Uh, Archive manager, yeah. So we need to extract it. So I'm gonna put it in my home directory in a folder called CA proxy. Great. Okay, extracted. Show the files. Okay, now. What we're looking for here is called zap.sh. We can just right click it, run as program, and it opens up a new terminal and runs zap. Very good, it started. So, no, I do not want to persist the session at this moment. Start. And the first thing that pops up is the add-ons. So there's an automatic update enabled by default for the add-ons. This could take a couple of minutes. Um, after the add-ons are done, we will need to restart. Now, it's a bit of a pity um, but you might have noticed, let's just close up this stuff first. You might have noticed that we had to launch Zap using right click on a, on a, on a script and it opened the terminal in the background. Um, this is not ideal, but we can fix that soon in another session. So let's start it up again. All good. Yeah, terminal's still there, spewing out stuff. Maybe later. Always keep your systems patched. So we're done. In the next session, we'll take a look at how to get it running a bit smoother without the need for uh, a terminal running in the background and get it added to our default launcher. Okay, guys. See you all later. Bye-bye.